Welcome back, Vertical Followers. It's amazing to have you for another video. Today, we're gonna to be flying in the snow. We're gonna be talking about some of the dangers and risks that you have to be thinking about when you are landing in the snow. We're gonna be going belly deep a couple of times. Um, you know, one of the things that I think is important to start with is to have bear paws on your skids, something that's gonna distribute that weight a little bit so that the heels don't sink down more than the nose because that's how you can get your tail, uh, tail rotor into the snow. Um, the other thing that is really important is to understand you know, when you're landing on a snowy surface, if you have a bit of an idea of what's underneath there, it's really important. If you look at the structure of the way that snow is laying over the ground, if it's on a sharp edge or you know where it is, you, you get a bit of an idea of whether or not that snow could actually fall away on you on the mountain. So if you land, you get a bit of weight on there, and then all of a sudden it sloughs off off the side of the mountain. Cornices are another thing. A cornice is when basically the wind blows the snow over the edge, over the tip of the mountain, and then it creates a bit of a, a, an overhang on there. And so if you're not paying attention, you're not uh, watching carefully enough, you can actually be landing on the edge of that cornice, and a little bit of weight on there will cause it to break away. And again, the whole helicopter can come down the side of the mountain. So enjoy the flight today. It's a really fun one. Uh, we're going to play in our playground kind of on those mountains right there uh, for the rest of the flight. So. Uh, I'm going to take you guys along for it because I know you guys enjoy that. Uh, we're just doing some recon right now to this peak out in front of us and we'll see if we can land there. Oh man, look at this. We are dug down deep in that snow. That is incredible. <laughs> I think, Thor, I think I got to get out and get this shot from the outside. What do you okay, think? Okay, I think that's a great idea. Alright, everybody needs to see this from outside. So we're coming across the ridge here and we've got a pretty good tailwind going on. We can feel it pushing us up the hill. And that looks like a pretty flat spot. What we need to see, you can actually see the wind blowing the snow off the edge there. Yeah. We need to see how badly that's corniced, right? So um, we're gonna come around from the other side. That's where we're gonna be the wind anyways. But it looks right now like a really bad cornice. Wow. Well, we'll come back Charlie. around at it. At Look at that snow blowing right there. So right now, actually, we're in a fairly well, we comfortable spot. We're just below the ridge line, and so we're in a pretty sheltered area here, as long as you stay up fairly tight to the hill. If we would have been up another 30 feet, we would have been hitting that uh, that edge. So come back around here. Make sure you don't lose your altitude. You're getting in that descending air right now, so pull, pull, pull. There you go. Good, keep coming around. And then we're just trying to see if that spot that we flew over, how badly it's corniced, and if we have the ability to get far enough forward where we're onto solid rock instead of the overhanging snow. If it's not good, we just abort and we'll go find a different spot. There's sure. many over here, so wow, look at that, eh? Woo wee! You guys, man, this is exciting. We haven't seen sun like this and the fresh snow like this high in the mountains in quite a while. We've had some pretty pretty garbage weather for the last little bit. Um, I'm also looking kind of at the top, instead of the saddle down here, uh, more at the top, because there's no cornice there. That's looking way better. Yep, I wow, agree with that. dude, look at that snow coming off of there, man. It is so epic. Good and windy, though. We want to make sure that we keep that nose into the wind. Um, start coming left a little bit. We're going to try and keep that nose pointed like this. Okay. See how much power we're using. We're down at like 15%, uh, so we're very low on the power setting. And I think we're pretty stable here. It's incredibly stable for how windy it is. So let's just fly it right into that spot right in front of us there. And we're just gonna take our time. We're gonna lose a little bit of that lift as we get in closer to the in-ground effect, but uh, we're gonna have lots of reserve here. There's only two of us in the 44, so we're doing well. And that's awesome, coming another foot my way. That's looking really good. Doing great there. Keep that going. Keep it going. No more forward now. And just keep coming straight down. That's looking awesome. We're just starting to feel a touch now. Yeah. So we're just going to see how much slope there is. There's going to be a little forward slope, but that's feeling really solid. Let's go ahead and start doing a little seating check. See if we can pat ourselves a little bit in there. 
That is looking awesome, buddy. Look at that. You just landed on this ridge line, man. Yeah, that's what we came for. Ooh, that's what we came for, is right. Oh, man. That's fantastic. Doesn't get better than that. <laughs> that's good. Very nice. Okay, well, let's get out of here. We'll lift it off and then just get a nice, gentle climb going and then right off the edge. That way, if there's any hit from wind, we're not going to get thrown around. So coming up, nice and smooth. Good, we're not hooked in the snow. Yeah, we were hooked a little bit there. Okay, keep coming up, 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 and gently away. Might get a little hit there, so be gentle. Yep, you've got it. Oh, wow. It's incredibly stable for how much wind there is, actually. Um, it's, yeah, it's really, really nice. Let's go find another spot. We'll go back around this corner here. All right, guys, so we landed here on another spot, and it's just absolutely amazing. Have a look. Um, the wind is blowing like crazy. There's lots of fresh powder on the ground, and that's what's blowing right now. But you can see all the wind-blown marks, and then just have a look at how much snow is actually blowing over the ground here. It's really cool. Just amazing to see. Uh, but again, very stable. Um, you know, it's just flowing nicely up the slopes and not creating any crazy turbulence. I think it's it's fairly unidirectional, like it's coming from one area, as opposed to, you know, two, three angles where you start getting that turbulence. So um, that's really nice. Go, let's go ahead and lift off here and we'll fly away. Okay. That's awesome. Nice and smooth coming off the edge. He's a smooth operator. Oh, man. That's so good. Minus three, so we have to be careful with uh, those little cloud areas there. We could yep. get some icing in the, the fog sort of cloud areas. But we'll come across this side where there's no cloud. Uh, that's really good. Yep, I was not expecting using sunglasses. Yes, no, here, I know, right? Here we are. It's definitely worth it, man. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Down in the valley back there, it is kind of gray and kind of gross, but not too bad. I mean, super high ceiling still. We uh, really got into the lucky area here, but man, amazing. All right, that's awesome. So we uh, just landed on this spot, kind of over in the edges there. It's a little cornice, but uh, right here behind us, it kind of levels off and there's, uh, kind of looks a little bit like there is, but there's, there's no cornice there behind us there. Um, we got ourselves slightly forward of the edge, as you can see there, so that uh, we have more stability on the ground that's underneath us. We've got uh, some terrain there as well. Like you can see the trees, little rocks and stuff like that. That uh, tells you that there's more stability on this spot. So you wouldn't want to be too far close to the back there because that could just be blown over snow. Like there's cornices and then there's also just buildup of snow, right? right. And it doesn't really look corniced, but it's uh, basically it could start breaking away on you, right? But we're forward of that ridge there right now. So we're safe here. This would be a spot that we could shut down if we needed to or drop off some skiers or something like that. But this is uh, absolutely amazing. All right, let's get out of here. We're gonna start thinking about making our way home soon. Okay, so there's a cool tower right there with a nice helipad built onto the edge of it. So let's do a pass by it and we wanna assess that wind there. Uh, we think it's still coming from that direction, but uh, let's come down a little bit lower and we'll just get nice and stable as we go by here. Now we have to land with our tail kind of facing out that way. Um, stabilize here, level off, keep it moving nice and gently, keep it moving. See how stable we are here. It's actually feeling quite stable here, right? Eh? Yeah, feeling very good here. Feeling very nice. Okay, let's keep it moving. We've got plenty of power here. Just did a power check. And let's loop back around, come in for landing. Loop to the left. Uh, loop to the right, grab okay. some speed, yep. Yeah, this is nice. The only bad factor here is what? The sun uh, in our face? The sun in our face, yeah. yeah. It's about the only bad thing. Other than that, we got lots of power. The wind seems stable enough. That's looking great. And don't get too low. We want to make sure we keep our movement going all the way to our spot in case we were to start running out of power or get a downdraft or anything. We're still going to make it. So just a few feet high of it. That's great. Now keep our moving all the way to it. And the tips of your skids are at your knees, so that's a great spot that you're at right now. A little Some twitchy in here, yeah. yeah, just keep it moving down, keep it moving down. You don't want to stop. The more you move, the more stable you're going to be, right? So just keep her drifting all the way down. Yeah, keep coming down. 
As soon as you touch, as soon as you feel those skids touch, start patting the ground. We want to start getting nice and stable because that wind, we don't want it to be twitching us around as we're on the ground, right? So keep patting it down. Let's get those skids buried in a bit. Soft enough snow that we can do that. There it goes. Start sinking in a bit now. That's looking great. Nice work. <laughs> That's fantastic. Not too shabby. Eh? Not too shabby of a spot, is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and lift off here and uh, we'll depart. Awesome, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, if you did, just leave some comments. I want to talk to you.